Dr. H.P. Conoria, the man, the force behind the idea of this immensely successful world confluence. May we request you, sir, for the welcome address. Good morning, Jahin. Happy, Merry Christmas and New Year in advance. Honorable Governor, Honorable former President of Equator, Reverend religious leaders, respected political leaders, eminent guests and speakers, divine brothers, divine sisters, and dear divine youth. With you, I welcome you all to the 10th World Confluence of Humanity, Power and Spirituality in Western, at Western Hotel in Calcutta. I extend my grateful thanks to the to all the grace to all for gracing the confluence. Your deliverance and presence will promote a spirituality, humanity, peace, harmony, unity in diversity, hard work with devotion, selflessly, with righteousness, truthfulness, simplicity, austerity, cooperation, and the realization of God abiding within all beings. We are all manifestations of God in various forms. God was alone. He said, I am alone. Let there be many. Eko ham bahu shyami. In Bible also, it is said that God has manifested human beings in his own image. He is seated in the hearts of all beings. God is the force within us. We are all born as perfect and divine. As such, I have called today all divine brothers, divine sisters, and divine youth. Our souls, which are parts of the universal soul, and infinite and immortal, universe is unity with diversity. Part of the universal soul, part of the universal soul is in all beings. So there is no upper and lower class, no infinity and superiority in man and woman. All are equal. The only difference is of gender. All rivers flowing from several countries merge with the ocean and the ocean return water in the form of rain to nurture God's creation. Lord Krishna said, the entire universe has been manifested from my form. From my form. All beings are dependent on me, but I am not dependent on them. Maya said, meet them. Science has proved the physical inversity is a delusion. The sum total of a cosmic energy is always the same. Science is in finding this unity. Its goal is to reach perfect unity. Physics discovers a single source of energy out of which all are created, manifested, expanded, subdued. Chemistry goal is to discover one element out of which all others could be created. Manifest manifestation not creation, is today in the world of science. Manifestation, not creation, is in the world of science. God is everywhere and in everything. Truth, internal order, austerity, simplicity, hard work with devotion, humility and humanity, uphold Mother Earth to give us bounty, to live full span of life happily and united amidst diversity in grace free from ego. Religions of the world are mutually complementary, not contradictory. Conversion from one religion to another religion cannot lead one to salvation and liberation. The dive and urge for attaining salvation, liberation has to come from within. Own religion is own mother and other religions are sister of mother as said by Paramahansa Sri Ram Krishna, have the core belief in the oneness of all. Humanity the science, essence of all religions. Humanity the essence of all religions. A spirituality ignites to work hard with devotion and righteousness to create wealth for the welfare of humanity. It is essential to work hard selflessly to provide basic needs of the increasing and growing population at a pace higher than that of current economic growth. Save Mother Earth, not fight, assimilate, 
not destroy, bring harmony and peace, not dissension. Let the world have the cosmic, cooperative spirit, a spirituality, manifest divinity within years. It creates the international bondage, one family, one world. I would like to narrate a story from the Holy Veda, demigods, demigoddess, and human beings were hollow, hollow and full of sorrow, despite having all riches and bounty of nature. They approached the Supreme God, Lord Vishnu, who advised demigods and goddesses to have empathy, sympathy, and kindness, free of ego, and for human beings to work hard with devotion and righteousness selflessly, live with simplicity and austerity, and share earnings and wealth with the poor without ego. Help them, assist them, and you will live happily the fullest span of life following the path of spirituality. Spirituality infuses the elements of balance and right living in the physical, mental, and intellectual faculties of individual. Intuition is developed, life is in balance. Brahman Sri Ramakrishna said, service to humanity is the mercy of our Lord Shiva. Jesus Christ said, only right in the world is to give, to serve, be content to serve, serve the world. Swami Vivekananda said, do not neglect the living God, the man and the woman who are the infinite reflection of God. Let us march ahead with firmness and determination, keeping high the flag of humility and spirituality to manifest the divinity, to overcome global hunger, global warming, to have harmony and peace, believing in the sense of all regions, is the cosmic cooperation and coexistence. God calls, God calls, O oh children, realize all in one, realize all in one, one in all. Om, Amin, Amen, Ekunkara, Ahura, Mazda. Thank you all for gracing this occasion and inspiring all of us.